Groundhog Day, that wacky, time-honored ritual we celebrate on February 2nd. Will the groundhog see a shadow or not? And a question, why does this even predict the weather? But one thing is certain. Groundhog Day is not for witches. Mm -hmm. Groundhog. Groundhog Day isn't technically a holiday, but more like a wacky tradition. It starts by getting a groundhog and then sticking it in the ground. Bye. No, we are not sticking anything underground. Why not? The groundhog already lives underground. Then on February 2nd, he or she peeks out from the hole in the ground to throw rocks. No, to eat your lunch. No, to make fun of your winter hat. What? No, Groundhog would never do that. Tradition says that when Groundhog emerges from its hole and sees its shadow, it means six weeks of pneumonia, never ending darkness, and a howling wind that pierces your soul. Then spring. Couldn't you just say six more weeks of winter? Couldn't you just say six more weeks of <laughs> pneumonia, never-ending darkness, and a howling wind that pierces your soul? No. Conversely, if the groundhog does not see its shadow, uh -uh. it means that we can expect allergy attacks from a massive cloud of pollen, screaming <laughs> sinus headaches, and killer bees. No! No killer bees, no killer pollen. If a groundhog does not see its shadow, it just means an early spring. That's basically what I said. Ah! The tradition of Groundhog Day was first officially celebrated in the town of Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania in 1887. That's where America's official groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, makes the prediction. He prefers to go by Roberto. He does not. What do you call a groundhog with a rubber toe? <sighs> Roberto. Roberto! <laughs> okay, let's just get this over with. Historians think the custom comes from the Pennsylvania Dutch and German farmers who brought the tradition and a bit of superstition over from the old country. I prefer the young country. So now that you know about Groundhog Day, you can see why Groundhog Day is not for witches. Do fries go with Groundhog? I'm leaving. <laughs> Storyteller had to go because of reasons. <sighs> but here are three fun facts about groundhogs. Whoa. Fancy. Did you know groundhogs are rodents? Just like me, white rat. Yum. Disturbing. A groundhog's home is called a burrow, and each burrow has its own bathroom. I prefer using indoor dungeon swamps. Don't you sleep there? Yes. Disturbing. <laughs> and groundhogs are cute. They greet each other with an Eskimo kiss. Is that when two things touch noses? Yep. Disturbing. Happy Groundhog Day. Don't forget the fries. <laughs>